<laughs> yeah, it's 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 a kind of Dutch milk. It's mi milk with strawberry taste, you know. <laughs> I, I think uh, what's different about working at Mendix is that we really believe that business and IT should be integrated. So that's all the time what we bring into projects when we work with customers. Uh, of course, then we also bring local as a technology, and uh, there's really a mission to change the way that organizations use software and transform their business with software. Uh, that's, that's, I think, the core of, of Mendix, and I like that we combine that really with the mentality to make things happen. Well, as a cloud solution architect, basically my end goal with every customer is to make them host and run Mendix successfully in uh, whatever that means for that specific customer. So every customer has different constraints and I'll try to listen and work with them to see how they can succeed with running Mendix and then I'll support the implementation process to make that happen. Well, I, from a young age, I've al already had a lot of experience with infrastructure. Uh, and of course, that was very instrumental in this role. Um, so that's more uh, on the hard skills. Uh, on the soft skills, um, you know, I've, I've always been someone that really likes to uh, learn something myself, uh, take ownership of a problem. And I think that, that really fits with the Mendix culture. Uh, and also in, uh, in roles before this, I was more in a large corporate and uh, I got some experience with how you navigate those organizations, dealing with the politics needed uh, and the resistance that you will encounter when you try to change something, basically. But that was all very useful uh, in being successful in this role. Well, what really challenged me in Mendix is that, especially uh, when I started six years ago, we were really small starter, 200 people. Um, so there was not a lot of uh, formal processes or rules or anything. So that had a really attractive feel because you could make the standard yourself. You could start the process, um, but it also um, and made it very important that you are comfortable with uh, taking action under uncertainty and keeping always the end goal, the result in mind for the customer. So those two things, uh, making sure the customer succeeds while uh, the environment might be uncertain, those are the two most important things I really developed at Mendix. What I think uh, is unique about the Mendix community is that uh, I would say that compared to other roles I've had in the IT space, people are more broad. So they, they always uh, are uh, very uh, communicative, uh, always have a business sense. So they really combine uh, this business uh, with with IT knowledge so that, that, that's just very interesting and they're always willing to help so uh, even if I meet uh, you know uh, 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 people at customers or at partners uh, there's always this strong desire to work as a team well apart from really getting motivated by the mission of bringing loco to the world uh, I really liked that Mendix was the only employer that didn't force me to choose between business and IT so it's really fundamental with the managed philosophy that business and IT closely work together. So I really liked that philosophy and they also didn't force me to choose between those, but also to bring that together. And that, that was really uh, distinctive about that. Uh, I have a lot of freedom, a lot of autonomy uh, to do whatever it takes to make the customer succeed. There's nobody telling me how to do my work, where to do my work. Uh, it's basically up to me to make the customer succeed and I get a lot of uh, uh, trust and a lot of responsibility uh, and I really like that. So you really, I think uh, overall, we have a lot of people that really like to take ownership and drive on that.